One of Fusion 5's most powerful new features is the ability to have non-uniform softness on the edges of a polyline or B-spline mask. To demonstrate this new feature, add a polygon mask to the flow and then view it in the display view. Create a simple shape with four points closed, then smooth the shape. Go to the Polygons controls and increase the soft edge to see what uniform soft edge looks like. All portions of the polyline are blurred or softened by the same degree. The soft edge control is nothing more than a Gaussian blur applied to the mask channel. To make our polyline capable of receiving non-uniform soft shadows, we must first convert it into a double polyline. This can be done using the Make Double Poly button found on the very bottom of the toolbar that appears on the left side of the screen. Click on the Double Poly. The only immediate visible change is that each of the points now has a larger box surrounding its uh, spline handle. This indicates that this is a different type of spline. However, there are now inner and outer polylines. The polygon consists of an inner polygon and an outer polygon. However, at the beginning, these two polygons are in exactly the same place. Since the points on the outer polyline are parented to the inner polyline, moving the point on one of the polylines moves the point on the other polyline. To apply softness to a portion of the polyline, you must first select the outer polyline. This can be done by using the Tab key to cycle between controls. Simply hit Tab until you see the dashed line composing the shape of the polyline instead of the solid line. The dashed line is used to represent the outer poly. You can now click and drag to pull the outer polygon away. You can also select the outer polygon using the select menu that appears in the bottom right hand corner of your display view. With the outer polyline selected, simply pull out the points until you have a sm nice smooth softness along the edge of the polyline shape. Take note of the dashed line that connects the points on the inner polyline and the outer polyline. This represents the fact that these points are parented to each other. Moving the outer polyline has no effect on the inner polyline. But the inner polyline point, when moved, affects the position of the outer polyline point as well. In a similar vein, select two blocked points and right-click in order to unlock the point pairs and return them to non-parented points. You may occasionally find that the rendering of the soft outer polyline is interfering with your ability to properly analyze the shape that you're rotoscoping around. So therefore, it is useful from time to time to be able to turn off the outer polyline. This can be done by right-clicking and selecting the outer polygon and turning off the Enable Polyline checkbox. This does not destroy the outer polyline. Rather, it hides it from view, preventing it from rendering. To return the outer polyline for the display, simply right-click again and select Enable Outer Polyline. Any changes you make to the position of points on the inner polyline that are parented on the outer polyline, the parenting relationship remains. Double-edged polylines are animated exactly the same way that single-edged polylines are. Both the inner and outer polyline shape are connected to their own polychange splines. To demonstrate this, change to frame 10 Select the inner polyline and then change its position. A new keyframe is automatically placed for the inner polyline. At the same, in the same vein, change the outer polyline to set a keyframe for it as well. Since double-edged polylines are most often used to emulate motion blur in an object that's being rotoscoped, you will often find that once the motion stops, it's necessary to return both the inner and outer polylines to exactly the same shape again. This is made simple in Fusion by providing an extra menu option that allows you to make the polylines equal. Simply select the option and both the inner and outer polyline will gain the exact same shape again. Use Control Z to undo your last change. Let's explore one final element of double-edged polylines. Although we're using an inner and an outer curve to apply non-uniform softness to the overall polyline shape, we can still use the soft edge control we looked at at the beginning of this video to apply additional softness to this curve as well. So the two types of softness can be chained one on top of the other for a more powerful effect. This concludes the courseware for double-edged polylines. The, all of the techniques that have been shown in this courseware can also be applied to double-edged polylines that are made from B-splines.